Jared Poland, photo.com and this is your Photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by me and Fro-Pack 4, which has 14 all new custom Lightroom presets. But instead of me telling you how good they are, here's a couple of testimonials from customers. I just wanted to say that the presets you guys made are easily the best out. I have a few from other photographers and they're real meh compared to what you guys put out. That's what she said. FYI, I was in the middle of editing a job and I decided to buy the Grand Slam. God damn it, now I wanna start my edits over. Holy forking fork balls. Guys, Fro Pack 4 is bananas. The adaptive presets are so, so, so good. Fro Pack 4 is awesome. The face and skin enhanced presets alone are worth it. And they are fantastic. The only presets that actually do anything yet again. Thank you. Head on over to fronosphoto.com slash fropack4 to get fropack4 or the Grand Slam bundle, which are both on sale. First up, GoPro is back with yet another hero. Let me be your hero. This time it's called the Hero 12 Black. And guess what they said about it? You guessed it, it's the best hero camera we've ever made. Oh shit. From the looks of it, not much has changed on the outside from the 11 to the 12, other than a slightly different paint job and the addition of a quarter 20 thread, which means you can finally attach it to a tripod without needing any extra accessories. Look, it only took them something like 20 years to get it done, but at least it's finally here and it's welcome. But where the 12 seems to shine is on the inside, like me, cause I'm so nice on the inside. It has the same 27 megapixel 8x7 aspect ratio sensor, which was new on the 11. <laughs> Larger sensors generally mean better light gathering, which leads to cleaner and more vibrant footage. It also means you capture a large 156 degree field of view. You can record up to 5.3K with super smooth video thanks to Hyper Smooth 6.0. Like me, I'm smooth, that's why I'm single. Right. It's still waterproof down to 33 feet without the need for any extra accessories. Speaking of accessories, GoPro offers an accessory called the Max Lens Mod 2.0, which gives you a huge 177 degree field of view. You can now connect your AirPods via Bluetooth to record voiceovers, general audio, or to give voice commands to the Hero 12. Like Hero 12, God damn it! why'd you miss the footage? Places blame for the error on a computer malfunction. They've added time code syncing across multiple heroes, but the biggest change comes from the totally redesigned power management system for improved thermal performance with up to two times longer record times with the same batteries as before. Anyone who's ever used an action cam knows the more battery, the better. That's what she said. Like most GoPros before it, the Hero 12 is priced at $399, which honestly isn't that bad. If you're like me and you're still holding on to Hero 5s, it might be time to consider grabbing a 12. Next up, the company that goes by the name of Polaroid, but isn't the original Polaroid, but nonetheless has done a nice job of keeping the dream alive live has released a $600 camera. Yes, a $600 instant camera. Who are you? Leica? I Leica. Introducing the Polaroid i2. The i2 looks similar to Polaroids of the past, but offers something none of them have truly ever offered before. Built-in manual controls and a LiDAR-driven autofocus system. Did I mention that it's $600 yet? No. No? Good. Because it's a $600 instant camera, and it's not even a Taylor Swift edition. Phone call? I wonder who that could be. Hello? Oh, it's Taylor Swift. No, I don't want to go on a date with you. Just brush it off, babe. Brush it off. The i2's lens is the equivalent of a 38 millimeter full frame camera, thanks to the size of the Polaroid film. You can charge it via USB-C and have enough juice. It's good as new in a week. Too soon. Question mark. You have enough juice to squeeze out 15 packs. That's 120 pictures since there's eight per pack. Now 15 packs will set you back $215.85, meaning each dick pic, I mean photo, is $1.80 for what it's worth. It's worth every penny. So if you think shooting 35 millimeter film is cool, which it's not, now don't tell Peter McKinnon I said anything. Well, maybe you should switch to the new Polaroid, which is even cooler than shooting film. Now, before we get to the last story, guess who's supposed to be back on Raw Talk this week? Steven! We also will talk about the new Fuji Medium format and hear why Steven named his kid 
head on over to fronosphoto.com slash podcast. And finally, let's talk about the new iPhone 15 Pro's cameras, AKA the best iPhone cameras ever. This time around, we're seeing a larger 48 megapixel main camera with a new nano coating to reduce lens flare, along with higher resolution performance, and you also get better low light capabilities. Now, bigger generally means better. That's what she said. Let me jump in here because there's something I forgot to put in this script, and that's if you're gonna talk about how the scales of the iguana or the lizard look amazing. The main camera can capture unbelievable detail, like every little scale in this lizard. But you don't zoom in, it's probably not a good sign. Or if you take this amazing landscape and you say that you can see the shingles on the roofs. Which captures the fine details of the mountains, the rolling hills, and even the individual shingles on the houses. But you don't zoom in on the shingles on the roofs. I mean, I think that might tell you something, right? All right, let's go back to the, the, the script. Bigger does mean better when it comes to image sensors, and I mean in actual size, not how many megapixels there are. Apple said with the iPhone 15 Pro, you have multiple focal lengths to work with. It's like having seven Pro lenses in your pocket everywhere you go. Shit, I've been doing it all wrong all this time. Who needs a bag full of glass when all I really needed was an iPhone 15 Pro in my pocket? And the other Hey, Dan, Dan, can you back up that dump truck, please? Because it's time to throw out all my glass. I can't even offer to give it away because who needs a real lens when you have an iPhone? Anyway, one new feature that I really like is when using the main camera, the iPhone will automatically capture depth information, so you no longer need to decide between portrait mode or regular mode before you actually shoot. You can simply decide after. Oh, and you can also change which subject is in focus, which is basically what Lytro was trying to do all those years ago and then spent all of those millions and millions and millions of investor dollars and all they got was nothing. Now the biggest change comes from the addition of a five time optical zoom, which gives you a 120 millimeter equivalent focal length. They were able to do that with something called a tetraprism. I wonder if they trademarked that. Not yet. No, I'm not sure how it works, but I'm sure you're seeing an animation that Apple put up on their website right meow. Apple actually says this, now you can take sharper close-ups from further away, like a photo of your friend or a goal in your kid's soccer match. Now, if they claim that, you know I'm gonna have to try and test it out. Now, if I'm able to get my hands on one of these in the next week or two, I will take it out to a baseball game to see how it really does against those seven lenses in my bag. Ah, ah, ah. As always, it's still an iPhone. Those seven lenses are not going to replace your seven real lenses anytime soon. But for people who don't aspire to be real photographers, this is gonna be everything that they ever wanted. And regardless of quality, they're still going to be happy with the results they get. Are you gonna be getting the new iPhone? Let me know down below. And there you have it, Jared Polin, Photo.com. See ya.